Hello everyone, welcome to Praveen Tutorial Point. In this session, we are going to discuss about the Planck's Quantum Theory of Light. See, in previous class, we have discussed about the Maxwell Electromagnetic Wave Theory. So, according to his theory, he assumed that light as an electromagnetic wave. And now coming to the Planck's Quantum Theory. First, before going to discuss about this Planck's quantum theory, we have to know what is meant by a black body. A body which perfectly absorbs or a body which perfectly emits is called as a black body. Here, uh, we have to think of this perfectly absorbs or perfectly emits. See, a body may emit or a body may observe only some wavelength of light or some some wavelength only so if you take these four fingers these four fingers are not uh, in a same size so if a body observes all the different waves or different sizes then we can call it as a black body which absorbs perfectly or which emits perfectly is called as a black body and Planck's he did an experiment uh, with a body and he assumed a graph like this so this is a graph x-axis and y-axis here he assumed that the x-axis has wavelength and the y-axis has intensity of radiation wavelength of radiation and intensity of radiation so when a body is emitting the radiation he assumed that the graph should be like this that means if the radiation is emitting by the body continuously if the radiation is released continuously the graph should be like this but the graph what he observed is it's like this that means by this he came to one conclusion that the radiation which is released is not in continuous the wave is not in a continuous wave but it is discrete so it is releasing discreetly not continuously so by seeing the graph he came to the conclusion and in his Planck's quantum theory what we have to talk is about the first point is energy emitted or observed by a body is due to the small charged particles due to the small charged particles the energy is the energy emitted or absorbed by a body is due to small charged particles due to the small charged particles it happens and coming to the second point the energy which is released the energy released is in form of small discrete packets small discrete discrete packets called quanta quanta so we may think like this if a body is present we may think the waves may be continuously emitting out by the body but here instead of waves there are small packets they are uh, of small charged particles and they are coming out from the body in a form of packets so these small 
discrete packets why because they are not coming continuously they are having some gap so discrete packets these are called as quanta so this is second point and coming to the third one the energy released in form of quanta that means small energy packets and it is propagated it is propagated in form of wave they are propagating in the form of wave yes they are coming in the form of discrete small energy packets after coming out they are propagating as a wave so by this we can say that uh, that's why we may say it as a, a dual nature of light as well as a particle nature and as well as a wave nature and coming to the fourth point the energy released the energy released is directly proportional to the frequency of the wave is proportional to the frequency of the wave that means energy e equal to or energy e is directly proportional to nu where nu is the frequency of the wave so e is directly proportional to nu and to make it equal i have to bring a constant so that is h nu here h is called h is called planck's constant h is called planck's constant e equal to h nu so this is the planck's constant e equal uh, energy emitted or absorbed by a body is given as e equal to h nu and here h is called planck's constant and a value of h is 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second or uh, this can be written as 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 27 arg second so this is si unit and this is the cgs unit and now <coughs> we know that energy e equal to h nu where e is the energy or energy emitted by a body or absorbed by a body and h is the planck's constant and nu is the frequency of the wave and here we can uh, uh, write this nu nu as c by lambda or uh, nu can be written as u equal to c nu nu dash so if you write like this we will get uh, e equal to h nu by lambda and e equal to h c nu dash so this is a formula and this is another formula that means by knowing the wavelength wavelength we can find the energy of the wave or by knowing the frequency we can find the energy of the wave and by knowing the number of waves nu dash by knowing the number of waves also we can find the energy of the wave and next coming to the fifth point here the energy which is released by the body can be written as the integral multiple of quanta that means see here uh, we can write it as one h nu if one wave is coming out one h nu two h nu three h nu or four h nu but we can't say that uh, 1.5 or 1.25 so the waves 
will be in the form of integral multiples of quanta. So the energy released is integral multiple multiple of quanta that means e equal to n h nu where n is the integer where n is the integer so that may be 1 that may be 2 3 4 5 so on up to n n number of waves so these are the five points which was discussed by the Planck's in Planck's quantum theory. Thank you.